you're, part of your current duties in Jim Wells and Brooks County is border prosecution, correct? Right, I'm actually the senior border prosecutor for the region, um, and that entails not only prosecuting cases, but reaching out to law enforcement, offering training, uh, reaching out to area prosecutors, offering training. Uh, we have to focus on transnational crime, which, may, which basically means uh, there has to be an international or transnational element. Uh, that focus is met when we're dealing with gangs, when we're dealing with drugs, when we're dealing with human trafficking. And those are the areas that I really have excelled um, in my teaching and in my training uh, is how to prosecute gangs instead of just individual gang members and how to investigate and put together human trafficking cases. So tell me what that situation is like currently in Oasis County. You know, I don't know that they even have a gang prosecution unit anymore. They used to, um, and I know the prosecutors that, that were there, and they're very competent prosecutors. They handle things different than I do when I'm prosecuting a gang uh, as opposed to individual gang members, but uh, I don't think they even have a, a gang prosecution unit right now. But as far as the border crime itself, what is the situation here? Uh, the situation is we're a, we're a primary destination city, um, and then there's a staging that occurs, sending people further to Austin, Dallas, or, or different uh, different areas. So this is a this is a hub of human smuggling and human trafficking, but a lot of it's transitory where they're moving through. What about other things such as drugs, money, and weapons? Well, drugs, money, and weapons comes along with it. And as long as there's uh, a low perception of prosecution, there's going to be an increase in drugs, weapons, and, and other offenses.